how do I change my Apple ID and change my trusted phone number? Hello and welcome to iPhone Black and White, the video series dedicated to help anybody become an iPhone expert, even you. Okay, in this video we are going to go through and show you how to change both your Apple ID and also change your trusted phone number. Now, the better way to think about this isn't so much as we're changing the ID or changing the, the number, what we're really doing is updating the ID and updating the number. So if you don't have access to uh, like that email account anymore that you were using before or you don't have access to that phone number, uh, well that'll be a problem and we will discuss that. But suffice it to say, the way that you really need to think about this is we need to update the information. Because a I, I kind of mentioned in the last video the classic mistake that people make is what they do is they make a brand new Apple ID which is the last thing that you want to do you do not want to do that so if you follow the steps that we're going to go through in this video I will show you how to just simply update and change your ID um, to the email that you've got and that is the best way to do that so with that being said let's get to it Alrighty guys, so the first thing to kind of explain here in order to do um, all of this is there's an easy way to do it and there's a hard way to do it. Surprisingly, the easy way to do this is by going through the website, which I'm going to explain here in a moment. You might say to yourself, well, surely the easy way is to just simply do it on the device that I'm using, whether it's your iPhone or your iPad. And it turns out, that no, it's not the easy way to do it. The reason is because, let's pretend you've got your iPhone. And so you open up your iPhone and we will, I will show you the steps that you would do. If you do these steps before you do something else that's very critical, if you go through these steps, all of a sudden you'll get an error message. And the error message is basically going to say, we can't change your Apple ID at this time and we can't change this phone number and the reason is because both this ID and the phone number are currently being used by the iMessage server. So what it's saying is you have to actually deregister your ID and deregister your phone number before you would be able to actually make any changes. If you go through the website, you don't have to do that. It does it for you automatically. You won't skip a beat. That's why it's so much easier to do it through the website. But let's pretend that you do not have access to the internet. So let me go ahead and show you what steps you would need to take first in order to do this on your phone. And remember something. I'm gonna put the steps up here real quick. Remember, you if you're going to do it this way, you have to go into your settings, scroll down, open up iMessage, and turn off iMessage. That doesn't mean you still can't receive text messages, that'll be fine, but we're just talking about the iMessage server. So you've got to turn off iMessage, then go back one screen, click on FaceTime, and then turn off FaceTime. Then, after who knows how long, it could be 10 minutes, it could be 48 hours, then you would be able to go in and complete the rest of these steps to make the change. So let's look at how you would do it on your device right now. Okay guys, so assuming you've already turned off iMessage and FaceTime and it's been enough time, what you would do is go back into your device, open up settings, click on your name, then click on name, phone numbers, email. And I'm gonna go ahead and block out a number that'll show up here. Now when we get into this next screen, you see the blue word edit in the right corner on the top there. You'd click on edit, and then it says add email or phone number. So you would then click on that. Now also pay attention to that little red circle with the line through it, because once we add another email account to this phone, what we would do is go back in and actually delete and remove the other um, we'd click on that red circle and that would actually remove the previous ID and then it would automatically default to this brand new ID that I'm putting in. 
Now, in order for me to put in a new ID, what I have to do first is I have to go ahead and link a brand new email account. And so this is a um, an email account that I made just to do this video. This email account has already been deleted. Don't email me here, I won't get it. But I went ahead and went to mail.com and I made this email. I received a verification code um, from that email. So I actually had to go into the email account that I made Apple sent me a verification email. It gave me a code. Then I have to take that code from that email and then I put it into my phone here. And I've got this set really slow, sorry guys. But anyway, I'm putting in the code. Now once the code goes in, when we go back to the other screen, look below the black line here and you'll see that the new email that I just added just showed up. Superfakeid at mail.com now I can click on the word edit and then I'd get that red circle again and then I would be able to actually remove the previous ID that I had and now my brand new ID would automatically default to the brand new email account that I just added that is the way that you would change your ID on your device does that seem simple Eh, I guess it depends on your definition of simple, but oh my gosh, there's a much, much easier way to do all this, and that is what we are going to go ahead and take a look at now. Um, and then we are going to talk about adding a new trusted number because it can be a little complicated. But let's go ahead and jump into the easy way to change your ID. Alrighty, so pulling our articles from support.apple.com. This is change your Apple ID. Now, we're actually going to sign in and I'm going to block out some information um, to kind of be able to show you here. But what this article is going to do is it's going to give you step by step. And this article is really good as far as giving you the exact steps on what you would need to do. But this is the key thing, and I kind of mentioned this in the last video about going to appleid.apple.com. This is the website that you want to be at because that is what controls everything about your Apple ID. And we'll look at that a little bit more. Um, but we would go to Apple ID, sign in in the account section, which I'll show you. It says choose edit. Then you would choose change Apple ID. And then we're just going to end up entering the new email address. So as you can see on the screen here, this is kind of an example of what you would end up seeing because you would see your name at the top. You'd see your Apple ID and it flat out asks you, it says right there in blue, change Apple ID, and that's just what you would click on. Then you would enter the email address that you do want to use for your new Apple ID. You'd hit continue, then you're gonna get that verification email. When you get that verification email, it gives you the code. Um, on the screen, it would ask you put in that code, you would do it, and voila. The reason that this is the much easier way to do this, guys, is if you do it this way, you do not need to deregister your Apple ID or deregister your phone number if you go through the website. So you don't have to do those extra steps. You don't have to wait in order to get this done. This is actually completes on its own in really just a few minutes. This is why it's so much easier to go this way. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the website here. So we go to appleid.apple.com and now we need to get signed in. All right, so in order to get signed in, I put in my ID, I put in my password, and now I need to put in my verification code. My code just popped up on my phone. And once we put this in, we will get to the next screen and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of block some of this information out. So don't be shocked that it kind of looks a little bit odd. All right, so we are now actually into the screen. Now, I went ahead and just brought up a blank page to kind of cover up some of the information here in the middle. But as you can see, once you actually get signed in, um, it'll show you your name and some information up at the very top. And then you would see kind of the key things that we're looking for. We'd see account, security, devices, and if you remember, what we want to be able to do, 
based on the steps that we read in the other article is in the account section, we would want to click on the edit button. Once you click on the edit button, that's when you would actually be able to then see this right here. You'd click edit and then you would it would show your Apple ID. You're going to click change Apple ID. And then that's when you're just going to put in your new email account. Follow the steps that we just went over. And that is actually all that you need to do in order to actually change your ID. Like I said, it's pretty... Um, self-explanatory it's very quick it's very easy there's no real wait time to get it done this way alrighty guys so we just went through and I showed you how easy it is to change your Apple ID it is not that difficult hope that all made sense now the steps to change your trusted phone number this is a little more different now it's going to end up basically being the exact same step. So like I said before, if you're doing it the hard way, you got to make sure that you deregister your um, number through FaceTime and iMessage. Um, you're going to go back to those same screens like I showed you before. You click on, um, you know, add a trusted phone number. Don't do it that way. Here's the better way to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of give you a few words of warning here. It's very easy to update your Apple ID. The reason it's so easy to change it as compared to a phone number is because theoretically, you're always gonna have access to that email account. And even if you don't have access to that email account, okay, well, it doesn't, it doesn't take much to make a new email and then go ahead and you know get that code, make the change. You know, everything that I kind of showed you how easy it is. That's the difference, because now we're talking about a phone number. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you the classic mistake that somebody does. They go into their carrier and they say, hey, I'm gonna trade in my iPhone 10 and I wanna get a new iPhone 13 that just came out. And so the carrier says, sure, no problem. And you know, we'll do the trade in, blah, blah, blah. And then the customer says, Oh, you know what? I also want to get a new phone number. I don't like my old number. I'm getting too many scam calls. I want a new number. The carrier is going to say, sure, no problem. Let's go ahead and do that. That right there, that scenario happens every day all over the world. The problem, what that person just did is they did not change their trusted phone number before they got rid of their old phone number all right does that make sense they got rid of their old number and before they were able to go in and actually add the new phone number as a trusted phone number now that person basically cannot receive that verification code what's going to end up happening is that person is going to get locked out of their account for anywhere up to like close to 30 days it's possible to be locked out of your account for that long for your Apple ID. It is so important to make sure that you do not give up your old phone number until you actually have verified your new phone number for your Apple ID account. Now there's a way around all this and it's actually very, very simple. And this is really what I want to touch base on here because you can understand how easy it is to change your ID well guys it's actually also incredibly easy to add a friend or family's phone number as a trusted number all right so think of a husband and a wife and the husband gets an iPhone the wife's already got her phone so he goes in and actually adds her phone number in addition to his phone number all right so now, basically, he has his phone number as a trusted phone number, and he has his wife's phone number as a trusted phone number. The reason this is so beneficial is because what if he loses his phone or it gets stolen? Well, the good news is he can still get into his account because when he tries to receive a verification code, if he doesn't receive it because the code is going to his phone that is lost, he can actually click on didn't get a code 
And then he can click on send the code to this other phone number and boom, that code will go over to his wife and then boom, he can get the code, get signed in. Hope that kind of makes sense. All I'm really trying to drive home to you right now is it's incredibly important for you to make sure to have constant access to your Apple ID or have the ability to make changes is you want to add in another trusted number because if you don't do this, you are going to be in a position where you have to do account recovery. You're not going to have a way around it. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of take a, um, a look here on these steps. So we're looking at two factor authentication for Apple ID. And what we're going to look here is talking about trusted devices and trusted numbers. I'm not going to rehash everything because it's kind of the example I just gave you. Um, but like it's saying here, trusted uh, phone number is a number that can be used to receive a verification code. Now keep in mind guys, just because you were to put in like a spouse, right? Or, you know, um, a parent and you put in their phone number as another trusted number, that does not give them access to your account, okay? It doesn't give them access to your Apple ID. All this is allowing is if Apple needs to send you a verification code, they have the ability to send that code to another phone number. That's it, that's all it does. It doesn't give anyone access to any of your information. This is only talking about receiving a verification code. That's it. All right, so that's what this article is basically talking about. And then if we go down here, keep scrolling down, there's a lot of information on this one. But like right here, okay, manage your account. Manage your trusted phone numbers. This kind of rehashes what we've been talking about. But like it says right here, update your trusted phone number on your Apple ID account page. Now, when I showed you the hard way of changing your Apple ID on your device, you can do those exact same steps in order to update or change your trusted phone number, okay? However, you gotta make sure that you have deregistered from uh, FaceTime and deregistered iMessage. So you have to turn those off and then you go through those steps that I showed you at the beginning. And then that's how you can add in and, and delete the old number and add your new number. Don't do it that way, do it the easy way. We're gonna go into appleid.apple.com, sign in with our ID. And then it says here, go to the security section and click edit. So let's see what that looks like. So previously we were changing the ID, we were under account, we clicked edit. Now to change the phone number, all we're gonna do is um, be next to security here and on the right hand side, we would just click edit. Once we click edit, then it will give us the option, a little box will pop up there and it'll say if you wanna add a number after you've done this, click add a trusted phone number and enter the phone number. When you add a new trusted number, um, it will ask you to verify. It'll send a code to that new number. You put in that code. Now that number will be verified. And then once you do that, you then have the ability to remove a trusted number. So think of it this way. If you go into a carrier and you want to get a new phone number, before they deactivate your old number, have them go ahead and activate the new number. Have them put that new number um, into your phone, your brand new phone. You need to be in there just to activate the phone. Once you do this, what you would do is hopefully they would have, like you'd have another device that you can access the internet. You know, maybe it's the same phone or iPad that you're on. And what you're gonna do is go into the Apple ID page. You're gonna follow the steps that it just did here. You're gonna go ahead and sign in. Now, this is why you would need your old phone number because in order to sign in, it's gonna send a code to the old number. So once you get signed in, then you take out the SIM card of, on, in your phone, put in the new SIM card with, with the new number. Now that number's active. Then what you would do is follow these steps. Simply put in the new number. It'll send the code to your new phone. 
put in the code. That number's now verified. Once that number's verified, then you would click the little X button from the Apple ID page that we were just on, and it would remove the old phone number. I know that seems really complex. It's actually not that difficult if you understand everything I'm kind of explaining here. What's the easier way to do this? Guys, don't change your number. Scammers are going to be able to get your number no matter what, so that's, to me, not a really good reason. But if you do have a legitimate reason why you have to get a new number, make sure that you're understanding and following these steps. Now, the way to protect yourself from like getting this all screwed up by going into the carrier, no problem. Have a friend or relative that you can go ahead and add a trusted phone number so that you can get a verification code sent to their device. As long as you are able to get a verification code, you're gonna be able to sign in to the appleid.apple.com website. And from there, you can make all the changes that you need to for your account. It's actually really simple. I know I'm making it seem like it's complex, but it's just because when you have never gone through it and you don't understand any of this, it seems really complex. Guys, it's really not. So don't ever hesitate, you know, if you've got questions, you can always reach out to Apple and their support team will be more than happy to assist and help explain all this. Um, the best thing I can tell you to do is as far as your phone numbers, just please add somebody else to your trusted um, number. It will make your life so much simpler. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I am really hoping that this was not that complex. I know it can seem really intimidating or confusing. You know, I'm not trying to get you to go back and have to watch the video again, but you know, I'm really kind of hoping that this stuff sort of makes sense. It's not that it's complex just for the sole purpose of being complex. Apple is actually trying to make this as simple as possible. And as long as you do the steps that you need to do ahead of time to put yourself in a position to be able to update your ID or to update your trusted phone number. As long as you do the little things ahead of time, it'll be that much easier when you actually need to do it. The reason that it ends up being complex is actually to protect you. It's making it as difficult as possible for somebody um, else to being able to steal your phone number or steal your Apple ID. They're trying to prevent somebody from being able to get into your account. That's why the best possible thing for you to do is just to make sure you add in another trusted number and make sure that you always have access to the email account that you're using for your Apple ID. But if you don't, uh, or you don't have access to it, guys, you can see Apple is trying to make it easy for you to be able to update all this information. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead, hit like, hit subscribe. Come on back, learn how to become an iPhone expert. Don't forget, send this video to your friends and family as well so I can turn them into experts also. Alrighty guys, I will catch you in the next one. See ya. That's as good as this is going to get. I ain't doing it anymore. Because I want to be done with my day.